Gustave Loiseau, the most poetic of the post-impressionists, dedicated his life to landscape painting. He came from humble beginnings, the son of a butcher from Pontoise, and glimpsed the possibilities of an artistic career when working as a decorator in the house of the academic painter Fernand Quignon. Loiseau studied at the École des Arts Décoratifs and briefly in the studio of Quignon, but was distressed by the older man's reliance on studio-based compositions. Loiseau's instinct, like the Impressionists, was to paint en plein air. In 1890, Loiseau went to pont in Brittany, already famous as an artist's colony. He met Paul Gauguin and briefly fell under his spell, but his mature work reflects his sensitive response to Impressionism, particularly the paintings of Pizarro, Sisley and Monet. Loiseau's landscapes are richly worked tapestries of shimmering hues, which fuse on the vision, a record not just of a fleeting moment in nature, but a deep emotional resonance to a place. The great rivers of France, the Seine, Oise, Luang and Yonne, were key to his work, opening up a mirror of light in his compositions. This painting depicts Nez la Vallée, a village not far from Pontoise, the home of Loiseau's parents. Embowered in a mature kitchen garden, the house exudes an air of rural well-being. Loiseau's subtle response to the qualities of light proclaims the integrity of his plein air painting. His biographer explained his working methods. After sketching in the outlines, Loiseau covered his canvas with soft, thick daubs, and when the paint was thick enough, he made the whole thing vibrate by adding little flecks of colour in all directions. And a cherished place was Saint-Cyr du Vaudreuil in Normandy, when Loiseau had a house. This painting glows with colour, the powerful diagonal of the Eure River cuts across the canvas, fragmented into myriad reflections of autumn leaves. Like Monet and Sisley, Loiseau liked to explore the same location in every season and mood. Port Joie is captured glistening with frost and also in the hush of a summer dawn when the atmosphere seems to vibrate with blue light. Loiseau was fascinated by the rugged Normandy coast with its extraordinary cliff formations. This painting, made in 1920, reflects his fluid and assured manner of that era. The chalk cliffs and headlands are depicted with a freedom that approaches abstraction, with bold sweeping lines and cross-hatched strokes. Loiseau draws out every hue from a sparkling day from the weave of red, green, purple, blue and ochre in the grassy headland to the delicate lilac shadows of the beach below the cliffs. Gustave Loiseau, the shy nature lover who had lived in Montmartre as a young man while serenely evading the squalor of the Vie de Bohème, quietly fulfilled his destiny as a painter. His only aim, as he said, was to be sincere.